Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John chapter 14, verses 27. Has anyone ever given you something, then try to take it back? How did you feel when that person did that? In our verse today, we hear about something Jesus gives that he will never take back. Listen closely to see what it is. This verse is found in the New Testament, the second part of the Bible. It is in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27. Remember, this is called the reference. John is the fourth book in the New Testament, and it's also written by a name, man named John, and it's part of something called the gospel. John was one of Jesus' disciples. The first four books of the New Testament talk about Jesus' life when he was here on earth, his death, and his resurrection. We call all of these books the Gospels. When you read the Bible by yourself at home, one of the ways you can find the meaning of a verse is by reading the verses around it. In this verse, Jesus was speaking to his disciples the day before he, could die, he would die on the cross. The disciples still didn't know or understand that Jesus was going to have to die, but Jesus wanted to tell them and encourage them so that they would be ready when it happened. One thing he told them about was the coming of the Helper, God the Holy Spirit. In the first part of the memory verse, it says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. The peace Jesus was talking about is having calm and joy on the inside from knowing and trusting God, even when things are going on. Things that are going on will be hard and difficult. Not as the world gives do I give to you. There are things in this world that promises to give peace and joy and get rid of the problems. They might make you feel better for a little while, but their peace doesn't last. But the peace God gives does not come from anywhere or anyone else but Him. And it is a real peace that lasts for a long time or even forever. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Having God's peace on the inside does not mean there will be peace in the world around you. Bad things will still happen in this sinful, broken world. But you don't have to be afraid or worried because God is with you. God the Holy Spirit gives peace and also gives courage when you are afraid. Courage is facing danger calmly and willingly even though you may be afraid. Peace and courage are two gifts God gives the, to those who are his children. The Holy Spirit gives peace and courage.